welcome to another Command & Conquer tournament game between In The Blue, Black Templar Gaming as Nod versus In The Yellow, it's YouTube, Brotherhood of Nod. And well, they're playing as Nod, who would have guessed with such a name? This is a five, best of five, oh, that's a little bit far, isn't it? Right, uh, it is a best of five between these two players. And right now starting off really, really similar. It is on Claustrophobia 1v1. And well, yeah, you might see why it is called that. Really choke pointy here and please make sure that you don't build your ass trips in the wrong places. All right. We've seen two matches where it has happened before. One was on this map, the other one wasn't, but it still happened. And you really should not have that happen. Oh, damn it. Sorry. Ah. I hope the echo hasn't been too bad for the last matches. Oh, well. Um, Yeah. So, anyways. Uh, three refineries over here. And only two over here. Does that mean that you're going for an early airstrip? As in, like, after your second refinery? Or are you just slow? I don't know. Seems like you are just going for the airship. Yes, there it is. However, are you also slow? That is the question. Uh, takes a while before you have your like airship because I assume you're going for like airship after the third. And there it is. All right, two buggies out already, and now catching up with Eco. You're like a thousand, nine hundred, about that much, uh, behind, in terms of like resources harvested. Which, well, this is a bigger difference, just because they spent more on their vehicles, I would say. And yeah, where do you place your next buildings? Yeah, you need to keep expanding, like, uh, like vertically, because there is no space anywhere. Over here, a little bit of a buggy fight, all right. And down south, buggy's just taking down some flamethrowers, I believe. And, well, this airstrip, it is not blocked in by the terrain. Very nicely done. I mean, we really should not be congratulating you about that, but it has to be done, since we've seen it before on two different maps where people just don't pay attention to it, and they lock themselves out of a major part of the map, pretty much. Anyways, couple of refineries over here. Not that many units might see turret here, possibly. Since you are facing up against mainly vehicles. But for now, you are able to hold them off. But that's a couple of buggies. That's quite a couple. That's like seven of them coming in. Some of them are already quite damaged, sure. But you've only got four. Up north, not a lot happened, honestly. And, well, they are now trying to take the fight. They're running back. They're not taking the fight. They want to take the fight. They don't. And over here, yeah, that's more important. Right. Now moving in and having, like, a couple of your buggies shoot the refinery. Great. And the refinery could go down. Especially because... Why is it happening today so much? I don't know. There it goes. It does go down, but the harvester does stay up, which is very nice. Not sold off, though, which could have happened. And down south, Brotherhood of Nod is also moving in. A little bit. They're, like, moving forward. Not in. Forward. And they do have a second airship right there. There. Which, well, Black Templar does not have yet. They do have, like, uh, that is six refineries left after one of them was taken down. But there's just five for, uh, whatchamacallit, Brotherhood, Brotherhood of Nod. So, I mean, Eco is pretty much perfectly even, or like a couple of seconds ago it was. Uh, but, well, Black Templar should get ahead from that one, with like the six refineries and all that. Over here, well, just a couple of buggies and all that, fighting against buggies and bikes. Yeah, you need to focus down those bikes, because otherwise they deal a lot of damage. 
seems like you are doing that. And even then, like 4 versus 4 still, is not great. It's also not too bad. Second airstrip now over here for Black Templar. So should have very quick reinforcements and kind of needs it because there are already buggies lining up to just go in. But with the ones from up north, you should be able to defend this quite well. Especially if you have this one as your priority airstrip. Because then you have like very quick reinforcements. And turret as well. Turret, very nice against vehicles and all that. Yeah. Since there were no bikes. Now there is one. There were no bikes. Turret is very, very strong. Again, focusing down the bike. Very nice. Haven't really seen a lot of micro like that in the last couple of matches. But over here, Black Templar does pay attention to it. And that does, well, make the fight a lot easier for them. Let's just say it like that. It's not really winning them the fight, not losing them the fight. It does make it significantly easier. But here, Brotherhood of Not, now with three refineries, like, on the, like, Middle field, like disputed field. Uh, yeah. That's a lot of eco if they're able to keep it alive. Both with airstrip quite close, so both with quick reinforcements. And turret kinda in range, kinda out of range for Brother of Nod. Does lose one refinery without losing the harvester, which is nice. And with second turret, they should be able to hold these forces off, but Black Templar now also moving in. Could consider building a turret over there. Or like, in front as well. And that's three turrets. If your brotherhood of not, should you pull back a couple of spaces just so that your turrets in, are in range? It would make sense. It's also not necessary, since you do have enough forces here. As long as you focus on the enemy buggies. Right? I mean, like, 1v1-ing, that's not good if you have more forces. Up north, though, that is very nice for them. They are sneaking in, like, going in and just killing things. There is nothing there for Black Templar. So, yeah. Brotherhood of Not really does have a very easy time over there. Four turrets should be able to hold off buggies quite well. But you do still need your own buggies to support Turrets are great, but they're not that great. And, well, we sped up. I don't think it's going to be worth it to slow down just because, like, the forces in the middle of your base. What does Black Templar do without construction yard? Can't build turrets. They're, like, way behind in eco by now, like 5,000. They're 200 power down. I'm pretty sure this last couple of minutes, like, this last minute, would have just snowballed into a win for Brotherhood of North without any issues. Anyways, 50,400 versus 45,500 in Ego. And let's go to the next game. Map 2. It is Quarry. It is still a not mirror between a Black Templar in the yellow and Brotherhood of North in the blue. And of course, in a not mirror, they're both playing as not. Who would have guessed that? Right. Brotherhood of Nod slightly faster with the Hand of Nod, whereas Black Templar is faster with the Refinery. Wow! Such an interesting start of the match. Yes, very. Okay, so, nothing going on right now. It's just basic old quarry. Double Refinery. Single Refinery. Going to be double now. Wow! So, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel because, hey, I should ask that. I always forget, but I'm going to do it anyways today. Right, it is three over here now. That means that airship is next. Wow, who would have thought that? And it's three over here as well. Are we even going to pay attention to the fact that these are slightly more efficient than the ones over here? No, we're not going to pay attention to that at all. Okay, right, quarry. Not a lot of opportunities for not speed to like go around. It's quite far if you like want to sneak all the way around. But we've seen it happen before. Could of course see it happen today. It's a map which players are very used to. It's like not a special map. It's a map they've played a thousand times before, I would assume. So Yeah, they probably also know what the enemy is going to go for. Airstrip over here, airstrip over there. 
and spider on over to the middle field, and you're probably going to spider on over to the south side. Or are you also going for the middle? Ooh, that could spice it up today. I mean, south is generally used more. But nope, you seem to be going to the north. Right. And there is your middle refinery. Right. Already quite a, an aggressive start here for Black Templar, I would say. With like, pretty much equal forces. Slightly ahead for Brotherhood, if not just because they have the reinforcements closer by, of course. But they're not using those, so who cares? Right. It's now 4 versus 2, and Black Templar goes back. Right. Black Templar also at this field already. Currently with like 4 refineries versus just 3 for uh, Brotherhood of Nod. And like 500 ahead now with another refinery. So sh really should like be quick with that. As in like their eco should like snowball completely and as long as they are able to deny like the refineries here for brotherhood of not they don't have a lot of opportunities to like expand yes they can get like the third one in the main base and they do have this one now and they are able to push back that is very important because if they are not able to secure this position they're going to struggle with the eco quite a lot more reinfo refineries over here. All right. Harvest are not able to get to the refinery because of pathing, because the uh, buggies were in the way. Sure. And, well, second refinery out. But buggy numbers are looking really good for Black Templar right now. You kind of need a turret over here. But you would probably want to build a third refinery first. However, you are, like, floating quite a lot of cash so yeah you would be able to just build one or two turrets without issues because right now you are losing this fight massively refinery after these forces get cleaned up might go down maybe half of the will have gone out by that point and there is turret all right good needed that over here expansion could be denied can't really build over here right now Silo going down. The silo itself isn't a big deal, but I mean, it does make the turret sit back a little further. Had they been building a refinery, it would have been massively inefficient. So, Black Templar is doing very, very nicely right now. Like almost 4,000 ahead in eco harvested. And there is the refinery. It's not awful in its placement. And over here, well, one little turret is not able to survive against this much from Black Templar. Especially not with the bike as well. And these forces, not really that effective. Since there are only a couple of buggies over there for Brotherhood of Nod. And refinery down. Right, now fighting the forces of Brotherhood of Nod. At least somewhat. Again, you've got so many more forces if you're Black Templar. That yeah, Black Templar is just going to run away with it over there. Now, up north, well, nothing here for Brotherhood of Not. They are stuck in their own base. Honestly, I don't really see them going anywhere. And that's what they thought as well. Game is passed, second airstrip, even communication center. It's time to move on to game three. My bad, it's not Brotherhood of Not, it's Brotherhood of Lobs. Anyways, they're in the green. Wow, that's special. This is Black Templar in the orange. Both, I believe, are still playing as a nod. And Lobs, I sh really should have known that. I told myself before the match started, like, oh, don't forget, just call them Lobs, that's easier. Uh, no. For some reason, I just thought they were Brotherhood of Not. Anyways, green versus orange. Right, orange might be slightly more difficult to see on this map. Eh, no one cares. Anyways... Over here, one refinery, one refinery. All right, let's go. What are the strats going to be? Not mirror, so still not a very interesting thing to like talk about map. Map is equal for both players. Both had to move the construction yard a little bit. It really just is as mirrored as you can get it. Like symmetrical map and all that, so yeah. 
No one with an advantage, of course. Three in a little bit of a like triangle, whereas these are like three in like a J shape. Sure. That's important today. I have decided. Right. Anyways, scouting. That could be more important. Black Templar now scouting the base. But uh, Lobs has not scouted the enemy base at all. Already like getting a couple of shots off because they were on like minus six, minus seven power. Just because of that little bit. They are on plus five right now. But yes, those couple of shots did actually matter. At least somewhat. Production was slowed down. A little bit for a small amount of time. Over here. Triple refinery. Alrighty. What is over here? The triple refinery was already up, of course. So that was quite slow. Or was this one? This one was already built a long time. Why did I think this one just got built? I don't know. Anyways, airtrip is up. And over here, airtrip is also up. Alright. Over here, spidering on over to the like outside field, where is Lobs is actually going to be going into like the center more. Center has like less eco here, less here, less here. But it could, be, it is better. I would say just like I don't know. No, I I don't know why. Or what? I think this has a little bit more eco available to you. But you can go here more easily if you go for the middle part. I don't know. Sure. Uh, buggies. Yeah, both players are going buggies. Who would have guessed? It's a not mirror. Yeah. Um, the most interesting part about this match thus far has been the fact that they've switched up their colors. And now we actually get a little bit of a fight. Better for Black Templar, you would assume, with their buggy numbers. But Law Ops, of course, has reinforcements close by, so should be able to hold Black Templar at least off for a little bit. Currently just going buggies, of course. And over here, just taking down one flamethrower. Very nice, very, very nice. Yes. Um... Lobs, if they like keep all of their units engaged, which currently they're not just running around, that hurts quite a lot. And yeah, well, they should lose these fights, even though they have like a couple of buggies in the back of the base still. They should be able to hold Black Templar off mostly, I would say. But there, well, already going after the refinery. Sold off the construction yard, so this is pretty much an all-in double airstrip right now for Lobs. Does mean they have a lot more production. It does just about like catch them up in like uh like eco harvest, I'd say. Uh by selling off, which is of course like two and a half grand worth. And they're just very quickly going through that. Black Templar has reached the middle, which is quite a big eco field. Just general, their eco, in general, like their eco, like one, two, like three, four, five, six, seven refineries. Lobs really need to just kill, kill, kill quickly. Otherwise, they just get outmassed in like every metric. Because, well, Black Templar, because they still have their construction yard life, they can just build the second airstrip as well, and then they're equally in production. Then, with their eco, Advantage, they should just be able to steamroll lobs quite easily. But still, they first need to get there. Lobs right now has good army numbers. If they can kill the airstrip, well, maybe kill the second one for free. Well, you're at it, right? Maybe they're able to do something. I'm not really sure. Going after refineries, it makes some sense, but there is no, like, harvester inside. So even if you kill one, it's not that Big a deal. Not really. And you were like losing buggies there pretty much for free. Especially because you didn't kill it. And over here. Well, you do still have good numbers. But turret able to hold you off. And are you able to snipe anything else? You could maybe run around here. Like through here and then like go after the construction yard. Could equal the playing field somewhat. But then again... Black Templar with their better eco, and that's like six, seven thousand ahead right now. 
Uh, yeah, now it's 7,000. That should be really good for them. Over here, five refineries, not exactly the most efficient, right? This one is very close to the uh, Tiberium and all that. However, over here, you will be able to kill one harvester. What do you lose in the process, though? You were pincet a little bit, but most of these units from Black Templar are not actually engaging. So it's not actually the worst fight for Lorps. Now with all of them in the fight for Black Templar, it's starting to look a little bit worse for Lorps. Getting a couple of shots by those turrets, and this is not exactly great. Most of the units over here are still like healthy. And there are more of them than what Lobs has left. Lobs still with a couple hundred in the bank, of course. So, isn't like actually like struggling with their eco right now, as in like with the production, since they only have one little. Oh, come on, that's the third or fourth time. Uh, with only one airstrip left, they are able to do quite okay. It's not great, though. Now 12,000 ahead pretty much for Black Templar in Eco Harvested and we should really see that in like army numbers. Light tanks always fun as quoted by like the great AoE, uh, yeah AoD gaming. Right and that is a pause because no army value over here, all of the army value over here. That is another win for Black Templar Gaming. On to game number four on Heavy Metal. Between in the blue, it is Brotherhood of Lobs versus Black Templar Gaming in the yellow. And Black Templar with a little bit of movement. Lobs as well. Sure. I mean, both are still playing Nod. It is so, so interesting, right? A mirror match. You can talk so much about the maps and all that in a mirror. Yeah, you really can. Right. Refinery up. Slightly slower for Lobs. Just as efficient. Second one already out for Black Templar. And Black Templar will not be scouting all that much right now. And there is the second one for Lobs. All right. Third one is out there for Black Templar. So once again, Black Templar really should just be better with uh what you call it? Eco, once again. Already like one full harvester ahead, like a thousand eco. So that's like more than one harvester load. And yeah, going for like an airstrip, both of you, I would assume. Or is Black Templar going for like Apaches now? I mean, it would be fun, right? Switching it up a little bit. There is the airstrip, which we didn't expect. And will you also be building an airstrip? We don't expect it. We don't. We don't expect that to happen at all. No. Right, there it is! Wow, who would have thought? And now minus 25 power, just like Black Templar was a couple of seconds ago. So, power plant, wow. And then going for a refinery after that? Um, the problem for Lobs, however, is that they are copying what Blank Black Templar does. Whether that's intentional or not, I don't really think so. I mean, it's just their build, build order. Uh, but with every single move, they're a little slower. That's bad. Because that means that your enemy has more stuff on the field. They are getting you back into minus power by just getting a couple of shots off on that power plant. And look at the army over here. That is very good army versus two buggies. Yeah. Are now at like 150 plus 15 plus power. So taking down one little power plant right now wouldn't matter as much. However, sniping a refinery, sniping the construction yard, even just getting a lot of damage on those could be very important. 
And, well, that's a lot of buggies. They can definitely do some damage. After does escapes because they were a little bit slow. Unlike moving their forces up. I really think it could have gone down, including the Harvester, had they been quicker with it. But, I mean, uh, Lobs is defending anyways, so might not have gone down either way. Second airstrip is already out for Black Templar. And they are very nicely spidering on over to all of those fields. Yeah. Then so they're like starting to build up a little bit of a second force, second airstrip over here for Lobs as well. And Lobs at minus 18, minus 20 power. Right, minus 25 power now. Right, that does also mean that they have slowed down production. And Black Templar still with like 1400 more eco harvested and don't tell me it is going down. Don't tell me that. It shouldn't go down. And it does not go down. At least not yet. What goes down on this side though? Uh, that looks like one refinery including harvester going down and that looks like a dead, dead construction yard. Yep, that's right. Bikes were like, oh yeah, let me snipe that. Let me finish it off. And so they did. That hurts a lot. Um, yeah, construction yard over there is still alive and all that. Over here, your airstrip is going to go down. It is a very bad day to be law right now. Because everything has been dissected one by one by one. However, you do still have a decent amount of army. But running that into bikes and turrets is not great. You have to defend this position. But you also need to do damage at the same time. That's the problem. And you can't do both. With the amount of stuff that Black Templar has, you can't sneak into the construction yard or anything and defend your own airship at the same time. You just can't. So, once again, it kind of looks like Black Templar is going to run away with it. If that's the case, then that's a 3-1 to one for Black Templar. And it's GG. So, you really can't let that happen, Lobs. But if these mini gunners are just going to kill your airstrip pretty much for free, even though you have buggies close by, then I think you have given up yourself. Okay, sure, the bike actually took it down. Okay, who cares? It's over. You don't have production. You've got like one hand of knot. Who cares? Refineries up north are going down, including harvesters, of course. And down south, yeah. Down south, nothing is really happening. You're probably chatting with each other like, okay, yeah, GG, good game, good luck next. It is GG. 33,625 versus 25,975 harvested in favor of Black Templar. Let's take a look at the bracket to see who Black Templar is going to face off against. Black Templar Gaming, ZA Black Templar is going to be facing off against Uncle DJ for the win in round 2. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left. But that's all I'm going to have for you today and I'll see you in another video. Bye.